apparently one of the greatest things that could happen for a movie just happened and netflix decided they wanted to make it and if you don't know what i'm talking about uh, that is death note the movie now this is a show based on well it was a manga that turned into an anime tv show which then was made into live action movies for japan and now is going to be turned into a live action movie for us here in the united states yeah, everybody rejoice. So the remake of the remake of the remake, maybe. The remake of the adaptation of the remake's adaptation. Gotcha. Is what we're getting. That's that's what's going to happen right now. So what it is, is Adam Wingard has been trying to get this movie made for a long time. This is a movie producer. Uh, and originally, it was going to be done. I believe we talked about it. Maybe, oh, maybe our first year doing the show. And originally, WB had signed on to say, yep, okay, cool. We're, we're cool with you. Um, let's do this movie. Let's go ahead and green light this project. Let's get it moving forward. Well, as a lot of things happen in Hollywood, this movie got stuck in developmental hell. Now, I believe they even had a cast attached to it. I don't know if they have a director yet, um, but they had a cast. They had some screenwriters and they had a couple different people ready to go for this movie. And it just got stuck in developmental hell. Now, a lot, very few movies make it out of there. And even the ones that do make it out of there usually aren't very good. I could say Deadpool is one of the signs of a movie that made it out of development oh hell and was still pretty killer good. So it it has both, you know, both pros and cons for getting it stuck there. But the big pro for this one is that WB actually did the good thing and said, hey, Adam Wingard, we know we're taking a long time to make this movie. We give you permission to go ahead and shop it to somebody else. So that hmm. somebody else happened to be Netflix. And so the streaming giant said, yeah, you know what? We already have the anime on our streaming service. This might be cool. Let's just do the live action movie too. So we are going to get this. Now it already has a couple actors set to star. Um, you have Nat Wolf or Nate Wolf. I don't know. It's N-A-T Wolf. Like what kind of name is that? Uh, Nat King Cole. I guess uh, that's the name. But go. Nate Wolf. Now this kid is a little lesser known actor. Uh, he got a lot of critical acclaim for playing uh, the lead role in the movie called Paper Towns. I believe he was also in a movie called Behaving Badly, which I only know because it's on Netflix. I'd say it's not a bad movie. He's not really your bona fide star, but you never know. Anything can turn that around. Maybe he got a couple of the small roles and he's ready to start taking a step into the big leagues. So. I honestly think that that might be better for a Death Note movie. Just just for this kind of movie where we're adapting kind of a, a different style for our audience. Although it's something people have seen. By now. Yeah, I mean, we've all seen it a bunch of different ways, but you're right. It is. A, I mean, if you look at Japanese cinema and you look at American cinema, they do have two different styles, uh, just like Japanese animation and American animation. You can really you can almost tell by what comes from what country, just the way it's drawn, the way the story develops usually. So you're right. There is different dynamics to each one of these. And so maybe bringing in somebody who's not as well known uh, would help refresh the character. Uh, but then we also have a Margaret Qualley. And now I'm not even lying. All my notes, it just has question mark by her name. Because I don't know. I mean, she's done some things, I guess. I, I am beat her, and it had like three projects that I'd never heard of in my entire life. So, yeah. So one relatively unknown and one absolutely unknown actor who's set up to do this. And I'm also trying to think, what is the female part she would be playing? Because there's... Mika? In this, like, really, yeah, there's there's some good supporting female characters, but I wouldn't really come out and say that this is the star character here. I, I imagine Nat Wolf is going to play the character of Light. I'm just not sure who she's going to, Margaret Qualley's going to play. Maybe a sister? Doesn't he have a sister that plays a lot of a uh, big role in this? Um, I don't remember whether or not he has, he might have a sister. Uh, there's also and I know there was a couple the, girlfriends. the other girl who got the second Death Note. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's maybe Mika, she'll play him. Also... The, the other girl that was like vaguely his girlfriend at various points and kind of leads his um the, the new show that's about or whatever about him so mm. so there's there's so a few there, women there's some around. interesting things in there and it, this has all gotten me kind of excited because again this is netflix and so I, I it makes me think of a couple questions number one is there anything netflix can't do I mean, honestly, like, is there any genre, any type of media that I don't feel confident in Netflix tackling? Uh, any movie they want to do, fine, cool, I'm with you guys. You probably would make it awesome. Any TV show you guys want to do, all right, cool, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And like, it just seems like they pump out quality after quality 
after quality. If they want to do a live stand-up special, that's one probably one of the better ones out there. You know, I mean, everything that Netflix does turns to gold. It seems like. So you know it hasn't actually. What their one weak point seems to be children's live action comedy shows. Very specific. Seeing it is. How I don't have children. I wouldn't have known that, but uh, you, yeah. you might have a little more expertise was, on that one. I was surprised to see that they had Eddie, and I saw all the very low star ratings, and then I watched a little bit of Richie Rich and learned why. Now, but also, you're not a kid. That, it's not targeted towards you. That is you. true. Have you that put your true. kids in front of it, and how do they like it? Uh, the I haven't put them in front of the live action ones. Okay. I've put them in front of some of the animated ones, and they've, they've Which had are great. a decent they time. They do a lot of things like uh, the Kung Fu Panda, yeah. the King Julian. A lot of those are really entertaining, so they do those well. So I think the answer is no. There's nothing that Netflix can't do, except for live action comedy children's, children's. TV shows. Yep. That's the only, that's the only thing Netflix should stay <laughs> well, away Once from. they get that one down, they're they're golden. You know? Then they they're, rule the world, right? Right I now, mean, they're like 23 carat. If they get that, they're 24 carat. Just saying. Yeah, so they are really really close so this is a great place to do it um my only qualm with this though is i think because the source material it's not a huge set of source material i mean it's not like a dragon ball z where you have hundreds and hundreds of episodes that you're trying to squeeze into a movie so it's not as bad as some of them i believe it the the, the entire series only had a 20 oh no i'm sorry 37 episode run so it's not horrible to think that they could shrink a lot of this down to a movie they, i mean it's but, already made it to movies it has, and, but it was made into a, that was a two part movie with a third that was just kind of thrown in there extra that, of stuff that didn't happen in the show. And honestly, I saw those movies; they were actually not bad. I, I liked them because number one, they had the same voices from the anime do the dub over for the uh, the actual actors, and number two, they changed up the ending a little bit just to make it so it's not too far off of what you already saw. It, it, but it still follows in line with the characters, but it was definitely a cool surprise ending. So. You know, that, that I think, though, it would be better served as a 10-episode story arc. I really think you could get more in-depth with it because the character, especially Light, the main character, think about the changes in his personality over the first just 10 episodes. Hmm. It's, it's, they gradually get, he gets deeper and deeper and deeper down this rabbit hole. Um, and, you yeah, know, and I, I don't know if that would work if they just threw him straight down hmm. there. And it would have to set him up works. as almost a bad character to start with. It, it definitely yeah. works very well as in uh, a series rather than a movie just because it's about a, essentially a, a giant uh, chess match between mm -hmm. the uh, the people going after Light and Light, um, which works very well when you have multiple episodes. So you see one set of moves each episode, and then that keeps you... Uh, interested in the next when you after you see what that move was that was played essentially but mm -hmm. like like you said though they they already made it into a movie once um and that was pretty good uh, mm -hmm. i would say that the anime was yeah. probably better but oh yeah still, definitely, it was definitely. Interesting. And i bet you the manga was even better which i didn't read myself so it's definitely a really cool world to jump into because it's your modern world and it's you know what would i do if a death note fell in my lap i don't know <laughs> you know, but they explore it very, very cool throughout the whole TV series, and I thought you it was really very only original. Two options with the Death Note, though it's it's kill people or not. But... Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but you could kill yeah, a person or two. You could play around with, with it. But... Yeah, yeah there's, you could do. In the without giving away any spoilers, Light, the main character who gets the first Death Note and decides what he can do with it, he goes pretty extreme, I'd say, than what most people would do with a Death Note. I'd sh I'm sure most people would maybe, uh, you know, okay, that person screwed me over sometime in life, so they're gone. Um, and then probably stop there or say, uh, you know, I'm going to take out this evil dictator from here or something like that. And then, you know, pump the brakes after that. But Light does not. And I'm really trying not to spoil any of the other stuff because if you haven't seen the source material, it's on Netflix, like I said. Go out and check it out. Or if you're more into manga or something like that, go and check it out. And my lights are flickering. But it, there's there's lots of different things. But overall, I'm very, very excited to watch this show. One thing is, though, and I know we're going to hear it from other people. I don't know if I have so much of a problem with it, but I'm sure somebody out there will. This is tr originally a Japanese property right this was this comes from the country of japan 
and it does not seem like they have any Asian actors set to go in this. Now I it look at it like Japan. that is in fact and, and it's set in Japan. Yeah, so to, that, to that do in fact this becomes story, a part of the story. Line. They would have to. Oh, and Japan is is actually you're right. And if you look at it the way the show is set up and the way it goes, it does definitely the the city of Japan becomes almost a character in the, the whole city, thing. The city in Japan, yeah, becomes a big deal. Oh, I'm sorry, the city in Japan. Sorry, they're in Tokyo, I think, right? I don't remember if it's. I think it might be Tokyo. I don't remember exactly though. I remember that they they do also talk about it being even a specific section that he starts. Of Tokyo, in. yeah, like Manhattan would be a specific section, or Hell's Kitchen would be a specific section of New York City as a whole. So yeah, I, I think you're right. They do narrow it down to even a suburb almost. But they also talk about expanding out. They they the worldwide nature comes into play. People mm-hmm. coming from other countries comes into sure. play so and so if they're not going to have any main asian characters do you think we're going to see a change of setting here or are they going to move it to like a new york or an la i imagine the only place that would kind of i mean you know if you think about the big cities you could you could probably put this in london you could put it in new york you, tokyo of course works if you're not going to have any asian characters i don't think you can stage it in tokyo anymore it has to be somewhere else it does Where make it less it? uh less likely <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean Japan and, does have growing diversity, but they're not that diverse in most yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. I mean they Yeah, it, it, they are getting di- more diverse there because, you know, they've been an international player pretty much for the past uh since the 40s, but uh it just it, is this a bad thing not to have these Asian characters in there? Does it take away from the source material or is it just a reimagining? Where, yeah, you'd have, if you're setting it in a different place, you'd have to have a different type of actor. And I wonder too, though, are we going to see other changes? Does this indicate other changes? Like, we were saying that there's this female character as one of the, the big initial actor actresses announced for it, but we we weren't sure of a major character. Maybe there's going to be a more prominent female character maybe they're going to change i mean maybe the they story. change yeah you're right maybe they, they gender change some of these characters i or, mean or maybe there, there's there'll be significant changes perhaps to to change the storyline to better fit the the movie format I, mm-hmm. who knows and and what are they called the shinigami the the, the people who have the death notes the the, the gods of death yeah 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 uh, you the, guys the, can the, correct the me well, you're, you're i right. believe it's the shinigami I mean, they could, you know, possibly totally drastically change it if they wanted to just change the gender of that character, even though it's not really a gender specific character. I mean, they could do things totally different with that though, that character there. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. All I know is that Netflix is doing it and I'm excited. I mean, Netflix is makes good stuff. I can't wait to see this, but hit us up. Let us know what you think. Are you excited to see this new Death Note movie? Is it better that WB would have done it or are you happy that Netflix has it now? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Where's My Face on Twitter. Move Bloods Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.